Today we got something uh, to do a review on. The Light Me Solar Energy Portable and Convenient Solar Powered Light. Uh, one of my uh, fellow YouTubers had done a, a review on this and uh, I've watched a video on how it was deconstructed and I uh, figured I might as well go ahead and try to see if I could find them for a reasonable price and I just so happened to have found it for $10.34 U.S. currency for um, uh, free shipping uh, and I tell you you know, after I saw the videos of the deconstruction, uh, it uses a cell phone battery. It has a, a small wattage uh, solar cell, anamorphous. It is a compact, uh, I think there's a, like said, a 12 LED in a row parallel uh, LED light bulbs or LED chips. Great for camping. Uh, areas where you don't want to wire permanent wiring sheds uh high you know it's multiple applications so let's take a look inside of course we know where it's made it's made in china so let's open a box for the first time it's never been open i'm doing this for the very first time here on this video and uh i'm already impressed by what i'm seeing the mini USB cable is uh, well, well, it's it's not the kind of, I, I was expecting to see something different, but I'm glad I, I'm not. Uh, the lighting device itself, uh, what's nice about this guy is if you just see in there, you, you can see those LEDs and it is charged. Uh, they want to make sure that those LEDs are uh, capable of lighting uh, it does give off a considerable I would say a, a reasonable amount of light for the area that I have is being demonstrated at if you look at the back of it uh, I see a sensor if you look here oh, we're going to research that but if you see that little sensor I think that's uh, I'll have to look into that one right there. That's not a button. It might be a charge indicator. Uh, let's let's check that out. It doesn't have any instructions from the <clears throat> very lightweight, very lightweight solar array. I would call it a solar array. It has a protective film on it. You can remove once you're doing your first application. This is a this is a double sided sticky material. Uh, it has the um, attachment point for the wire if you can see that or not a very long cables 12 feet the cable is 12 feet long that's very impressive because you can go from a light source the sun mount it and you're uh, you're good to go now today's unfortunately for me it's overcast uh, i'm getting about enough energy to light my other project I'm working on it does have what's called a QC past sticker on it so we know it went through some sort of quality assurance it has a hanger so if you're in a tent you can put it through one of the hoops at the top of the tent or a tree limb or uh, if you're out there doing some day night hiking or emergency survival you could hang it off of something and provide that light uh, it's not waterproof at all so you do not want to expose this to uh moisture directly that's not submersible so it is a fair weather device these guys do come off so you know you could always use as a flashlight or some other way to illuminate a darkened area kind of like it uh, for ten dollars and 33 cents i'll probably buy me a couple more just for the fact that i've seen them i've seen the video where it's deconstructed now if i can remember uh, at the descriptions down below, I'll include that link of the gentleman who, who that's what he spends his day doing is deconstructing consumer products just to let you know if it's a good product or not product. This one, uh, it's basically, uh, there's a, there's a circuit card. That's the, where the LEDs are arranged. Then behind it, they've, they've uh, glued 
a cell phone battery and they soldered directly onto the tabs to pull the power out. Now, what's nice about this guy is that the circuitry on the on the actual board uh, has a diode in it to protect this uh, battery from being discharged back into the solar array. Now, the anamorphous type array here, uh, it's a thin film sheet and uh, they produce it by the bazooka load and these are very inexpensive nowadays. Uh, the consumer industry is going to benefit here in the next few years, mainly overseas, countries like India, as an example. Uh, this would do very well in an India home because I'm telling you folks, it, I've been over there and it's not, it's not pretty. The, elect the government of India is uh, concerning electrification of their country with using solar. They've taken a lot of interest in these solar companies as opposed to here in the United States where the oil industry and the lobby for them is literally killing solar. They're making it more and more restrictive. The regulations are outrageous. Just up the street, a neighbor of mine uh, went with a major company here in the United States to put panels on his roof, and he still can't connect them to the grid to do the net metering. They, the politics is outrageous. The man can't connect them to his home because he can't get the, the, the permit from the building and city city codes. So now they're just sitting up on his roof doing nothing, and he's paying for them. Uh, with this guy right here, I could light a room with the sun's energy here where I live. We have uh, overcast days like today, but yesterday and the last day, a few days before, it had been gorgeous. Now, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is take you from your perch and uh, uh, put you put you on a on a uh, on a way where I can see if this guy is going to be able to charge. It's, it fits real snug. And yes, there is there. Oh my goodness, look at that! I had I wasn't going to expect. I didn't expect that at all. The lamp is actually glowing because there is enough light coming from the sun to see. It's not lit. Now it's lit. There's just enough light to make this guy start to continue to charge that battery. As long as that red light, that indicator is lit. That means there's enough juice going to that battery to provide to provide charging. Now I'm totally, totally gonna get more of these just for that fact because I'm in the middle of a room here, and 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 as it gets brighter and brighter, as I move it to the different to the to the two windows that that'll lighten this room up, I could have this in multiple places and very inexpensive. I, I'm, I'm just this, this, that, is, that is amazing that that guy right there can be, you know, the resistance of the wire is 12 feet of wire right there. It's getting the resistance of the wire is minimal and it's getting to that, uh, that bulb. And with the LED, each LED burns at 0.7 volts uh, DC. And of course, the battery has its own undercharge and overcharge protection device, so it'll switch off. Uh, so the battery doesn't become overcharged. These are lithium-ion batteries. Uh, when you look at that video that I'm going to put a link on, you'll see that uh, this, this the, it's, it's using the battery's built-in circuitry to protect the battery and to uh, give you plenty of light. Uh, that's a, that is now the last one I saw didn't have that indicator, uh, so I'm going to definitely be getting a hold of this company and getting some more of these because it's portable. Remember, if you if you want to bring the the panel yeah, with 12 feet of Cord, you could put it put to a window, run your cord, run your put your light up, or you put your light up and then come back and have a place to plug it in to recharge. And the question is, is, how many times can you unplug and plug that connector before you damage it or cause it to stop working right? But uh, that is something else. It, like I said, you, what you want to do is always when you remove these cords. You want to pull it by the, don't pull it by the wire, pull it by the, the grip that they've given you, they've provided you. So you want to push it in firmly and pull it out. And these guys are keyed, so you can't go wrong with putting them in the wrong way. It just won't go. So what you do is you look at the way that the, that the plug is. Now, some people would take a marker 
put a put a put a mark here and put a mark on the on the cord so that way they know there's a no brainer for like a little kid or, an, or somebody who's uh, a bit dementia would be able to plug it in. Uh, it is these, these small micro connectors. I'd recommend that you take some kind of marker and mark on the cord so that way you, you line it up. Now you put a piece of tape on it, that's going to be easy, but any way to, to indicate that that's how it, the orientation is going to be. Um, so when you do pull it, you know, grasp it firmly by the base and then grasp it firmly by this section of the connector and pull straight out. And then when you want to plug it in, just push it back in. Uh, the weight of the the entire the, the entire device. <clears throat> Let's get a good idea what that is. I like these. Uh, I really do like these. This new technology. I mean, my goodness, somebody's sitting down with these computers and they're designing this stuff, and I'm all tickled pink because uh, it's going to save me a small fortune in electricity over a period of time that I'll get my I'll recoup my money back in, in no time with this. Uh, right now, the, the total weight is 4.7 ounces, uh, and as a matter of fact, just sitting here right now. The lamp is it, the the charge indicator is lit. Now I really wish today was sunny, but this is kind of a, a blessing because it shows me that this guy can charge on an overcast day. So in saying that, uh, we have to think about how would you take this and use it for other applications. For instance, I know that this is not waterproof per se. Uh, it is a thin film product. It, it's I wouldn't want to be moving it back and forth but back when I worked for NASA in the 90s and early 2000s I worked with a company called Aero Environment out of Simi Valley Cal, out of California Simi Valley uh, you've ever heard of the word Helios aircraft it was a DARPA project the entire wing which was uh, quite long and narrow uh, had nothing but these type of arrays uh, solar cells attached to it and it was actually able to climb to 110,000 feet off the coast of Hawaii Kauai Hawaii at the Pacific Missile Test Range or PMRF United States Navy uh, test project the uh, NASA and, and uh, the Department of Energy and some other companies or corporations were working on for a different result, but this is the type of material that they were using on that wing. Now, unfortunately for everybody, the vehicle broke apart and uh, was lost at sea. Uh, some remnants of it were washed upon the shore, and I've got a few pieces that I picked up. But uh, it's amazing if you look. You you got to research it to find it because it's kind of buried. But uh, Helios or Aero Environment, they're a, a bleeding edge technology company. Uh, solar power. For the consumer, uh, this to me would be spot on.